Ross family. I wanted to just say hi and just let you know my intention was to come on and be more frequent with my videos. I was even supposed to be do it, doing a YouTube live, but um, this is, I know that my inconsistency with uploading is not my nature. And when um, things were a lot worse for me, I was more consistent with uploading videos. Um, but I'll, I'll, what I will tell you now is that I, I've encountered some experiences that have led me to understand and believe that witchcraft, the Jezebel spirit, and narcissism are all one and the same. Um, I've heard so much about narcissism lately that um, I had to, I felt compelled to come and share this because our world is filled with people who don't have issue with lying, manipulating. There's no, they have no shame, they have no empathy. And not only that, they're dabbling in witchcraft, in black magic, white magic, and profess to be Christian. This is, what, this is what's really throwing me off right now, is that there's people who are so good at what they do in relation to witchcraft, which is a form of manipulation, even gossip is a form of witchcraft, that there's no even like discussing it. There's no arguing it and, and saying that this is what I believe you're doing. Um, even like it's almost like the saying that um, if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck, it must be a duck. So when you put your pieces together and you say this is what it seems to be, um, people I've encountered lately are adamant that this is not what they're doing when it is. Anyway, there's so much I could share. I'm actually going to do more, a more detailed video on this um, with scripture to support what I'm saying. Because um, I've heard a lot of Chris, uh, Chris, Christians go off and start talking about narcissism. And is narcissism, the term is not nowhere found in the word at all. But witchcraft is. And so is a Jezebel spirit. So um, I wanted to encompass all those ideas together. I know it's really loud like right now. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me. But it's so beautiful. I wanted to come out and take a walk and some breather. And get my, my, wrap my head around this idea. If any of you are encountering the, this right now with people who have been coming to your life, newly coming to your life, um, I'd love to hear what your experiences are like. I'm going to try my best to do a live today. Um, I still haven't gotten the, the laptop that I have, I've, been, I've been able to use to, uh, I haven't been able to access the camera. I'm going to work on that right now. I'm going to try my best, okay? But I, I think this is a good night. It's, like, it's been a beautiful day to try and do a live. And, and touch base with you guys so things are opening up a lot of stores that were closed are now a lot of people in so it's um and I, I really a topic that i really like to talk live about and if not i'll do it just do a video all right i hope you all are doing well i hope that uh, your families are doing well i'm not too sure what everyone else's uh, cities are doing but i know here the schools aren't opening this year they're, they're thinking about september and i think this is god's part of god's plan I don't believe it's going to look anything like what people are anticipating um, because we're, like I said, we're on the end of this age. And um, as much as the media is trying to get you guys to, people to relax and not prepare, the message I still have is to repent and to prepare. Okay? Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Remember, you're me marvelously. I love you so much and I appreciate you. Our Heavenly Father loves you so much more. Until next time, be blessed.